Hi, welcome to uh, Dirtbag Baseball Nation, everybody. Uh, Kirk McNabb here, as always. And uh, hey, we're excited about another video series that uh, we're uh, getting ready going, and uh, and real personal on this one as well. To uh, the fact that we've known uh, these guys uh, since 2017 now, and I'm talking about the rope trainer and uh, throwing aid training tool so much more than that and uh i've got on with me today uh earl perrin from uh perfect pitch and throw is the company name but it's the rope trainer that we're talking about and uh you know there's the ball part of it you know you got your three things and then you've got your one two or three options of rope tethers that they've created with it all right and we'll talk about that type of stuff and and there's more to it as well but we're happy to have them on as you know uh we certainly uh we partnered with them and promote with them and we work really hard because we believe in it all of us uh, we believe in your arm health that's something that we're truly passionate about and i think hopefully by the end of this series you'll understand how passionate we are about it so today earl obviously is going to be on with me today and uh, he's the inventor and, and co-creator of the rope trainer and then we're going to have on a guy by the name of chris Berner, which is a professional trainer for john smoltz and how the rope trainer and john came to be together and stuff like that earl and the team that we'll talk talk briefly about but more dig in more with uh, Chris when he's on with us and then uh, Preston Peavy is another one that we have and uh, he's the guy that collects the data and and the validates the stress the validation of the rope trainer and also working on the creation of an overall program and stuff like that as well so lots of intricacies there and then Mike da Daughtry's uh, the Midwest uh, rep for uh, Earl and the team at the rope trainer and uh, we'll have him on as well so talking about how uh, just some of the uses that he uses and what he believes in and, and why he was so passionate about being involved with the uh, team at the rope trainer so on that note, thanks for being with us, Dirtbags, and uh, let's welcome in Earl. Earl, great to have you with us uh, hey. all the way all the way from Tampa, Florida today. How's your weather, buddy? Uh, Tampa's a little bit uh, cooler than we are. I'm in St. Pete, so I'm near the beach. Okay, good deal. <laughs> that's all right, Tampa Bay area. Good deal, good deal. Hey, man, let's get after it. Uh, I know you're chomping at the bit. This is stuff that you'd love to do uh, because you're knowledgeable about it, but you're passionate about it, Earl, and that's what that's what's so great. I love being in this connection and partnership with you, as do Braden and Nolan and everybody else. So let's get after it. Um, you know, as everybody thinks, you know, all of a sudden you see the finished product, the rope trainer, so the, the ball with the um, tethers and the attachments and how it all works. But there was so much more to that before that. So take the audience <laughs> through that. <laughs> <laughs> so much more. This is our 12th version. That tells you how much more. Um, I mean, obviously, um, I, I don't I don't have children. So I've been coaching baseball for over 20 years and loving it. Uh, picking up some parents asked me to, you know, start working with their kids pitching, you know, I would say 15, 18 years ago. Started with pitching lessons and um, started with what everybody else uses when you get out of the shower, a towel. Um, and, you know, my kids just were still having arm weakness and arm problems using the towel, you know, between the fingers. So then I tried tying it in a knot to kind of make it feel like a ball. And um, at the, this wasn't working. Um, so we went through the revolution of making a ball. Um, I work with Todd Boulanger, my partner, my vice president. He's been with me every step of the way. Um, as you see behind me, there's a board that my wife made for me of um, six or eight of the, of the different versions of it. So, you know, I was, to tell you the truth, I was on a canoe trip and um, the Lord talked to me and said, the kids need to hold the ball. So I immediately went back on Monday with, with uh, Todd and I said, hey, we got to figure out something where the kids are holding the ball. So the first version up behind my head here has a towel drilled through a ball and a knot on the other side of it. Now parents have all brought to, I go to the conventions, ABCA conventions, I go up to Mohegan Sun and different conventions and people are like, yeah, I've, I've drilled a hole in a ball and I put a towel in it for my son. But with the knot underneath it, you can't have your thumb under the ball. You have to put your thumb beside the ball, which one side the cause is, causes you to rotate. If you're gonna rotate, well, you know what? That hurts the arm right there. Growth plates aren't in the young kids. You know, I go eight and up, seven and up, depending on how the kid understands it. Um, but your growth plates really aren't secure to you get growth, growth hair on your face. So 13, 12, 13, 14, 15, you know, and then, uh, you know, from that, 
We went to the little one you see next to me, which is just one rope, but it's tied underneath again. So one of my friends um, who's part of the company, Jay Bordelon, I said, Jay, we need something where we got the ball, they're holding the ball, and we have just the tether sticking in it. And we wanted to have different weighted ropes to come in and out of it. And this is what I brought to Coco Eaton. He's a Tampa Bay Rays surgeon. He's the one that goes with the Tampa Bay Rays. He's been with them for years. He's an amazing surgeon and he saw it. And of course, like you said, we've been around almost seven years now. Um, and he brought it to David Price, who was back at the team at the time. And they were like, they loved it, but it only had a two seam grip. And they're like, you got to add a four seam grip in. So, you know, as you go on the next one, you'll see it has a two and a four seam and it has the tether on it that had a lot of hand tie into it. So that kept coming untied and it kept having breakage. We can't have that in a product. You know, we, we, we are manufacturers, you know, um, I'm a school teacher that came up with this product that works. And as you see the revolution of it, the middle one with the white on it had it, but kid in Minnesota left it in his car. And then he decides to go inside a building and it was minus 17 degrees out. And what happens, it snapped. So he came back and we went back to our guys and we we're like, hey, listen, we got to change the compound in it. So we changed the compound in it to make it so. And also we put on our things, try not to have below freezing weather in your car, keep it in your bag, bring it in your house. Um, and then the revolution went on a little bit more. And to the right, you see John Smoltz in these pictures here. That's at the ABCA convention where him and Chris Verna spoke in Nashville. Um, I think that was three, three and a half, four years ago. And my brother was there and uh, my brother Eddie's like, listen, I can make this thing even better. And what he did was the last in, in version that you showed everybody, you know, it's, it's, it's act perfect now. I mean, it's, it's not breakable. And if it does break, we replace it. So it's any product that you see, you, you get a guarantee for six months, maybe a year. Maybe. Well, here, you know, if something happens to it, we replace it. Don't throw it away. Call us, Todd. Call Todd at the office. Call me and we'll send you the replacement part on it. But to the evolution of it is, and that's something John liked, is that we didn't go back on our laurels from what we had at the first convention when he first saw it to the second convention when he saw it and Chris saw it. Um, you know, Chris had a lot to do with adding the tethers for the resistance. So with the one tether, you know, it's only good for, you know, the younger kids, really, the older, the older ones would get bored with it. So but adding the dual, which is on both sides of the ball, and then the triple for the older kids, adding that resistance level, they could see the difference. And you're going to have Chris on and he's going to talk about all the different muscles that it had. I had no idea as soon as you grip the ball, you're using your intrinsic, extrinsic muscles. I had no idea about any of that. Um, which where you pinch a towel, you're using muscles that you don't even use to pitch with. So to have the revolution of it come like that, it, it has been amazing. Yeah, there's no question. And there you go, Dirtbags, the, the, the seriousness and the passion that I talked about with Earl and his team having towards this product to get it out to you. And, and when I came involved uh, 20, uh, 2017, and again, I, just a, just a, parent buying a product uh, a guy interested in baseball long before dirtbag baseball nation yeah and, uh, you know at first i got it and it was sent to me and i'm using it and and as you know throwing is everything to me and then throwing properly and healthy is everything to me and so i wasn't doing it right i'll be honest i wasn't doing it right i didn't have great extension and good follow-through and stuff like that because i just didn't understand the importance i go what so i said to myself what's what's going on with this what, what am i messing here Lo and behold, there's your information placard. There's your instructions. As you see, there's your warnings. There's some descriptions. Other side, recommended uses. Boom. All built off of the data. And it's going to be improved again. This one, we're updating it again as well. But once I read that and I, I got it, man, all of a sudden the throwing muscles were engaged. But not only the throwing muscles, but my entire body had to be in the process. And the extension had to happen naturally or it wasn't used right. I'm telling you, eight throws later, just like I had thrown in a game or whatever, the backside's hurting. Not hurting, but but you could feel the activation of it. I was like, this is a no-brainer. No-brainer. Yeah, immediate feedback. That's the main thing, Kurt, with, with, with that, like you're talking, the extension and the snap. Yep. If, if the player does not extend and snap, they're going to pull in and short arm it. It's going to hit them in the head. 
you know, so if it hits them in the lower back, they've done it right. So once they've learned it, they don't need a coach standing over them. They can go to the bullpen and use it. The catchers can use it that in their stance coming up and popping. So they're both using it at the same time, warming up before the bullpen even goes. I mean, being in Lake Point for three summers in a row and watching these kids throw 50 to 60 times in the bullpen before they came into the game just made me sick because I watched the game and that kid doesn't make it through two or three innings. I mean, if they had it, and like John talked about, having that in the bullpen, after you do your long toss and you're warming, your bands, I mean, I love the bands. Everybody, got, you know, you get that out. But the bands, you can't finish with a band. You got to use your strength. You're using these muscles. But like John said, he goes, you, you, and when he uses it, you, you take the bullets out of your arm, you know, and the less you use that, the, the more you're going to be helped, the more you're going to be healthy, the more you're going to be saved for the game. So you go to the bullpen and you use that 15 times to make sure you're completely loose. Then you do your bullpen 15, 20 pitches. I guess some kids need 30 pitches, but you know, some kids need 10 pitches in a bullpen, but whatever the child needs or whatever the player needs in the bullpen, they don't have to do those 50 or 45 extra throws in there before they step on the rubber. And that's huge. And then in between innings, I tell my kids, if it's, if, it, if your team scores two or more runs, get the rope out of your bag and do it 10 times. If it's a high school kid, keep the triple threat on there and just pull it out and do it because that's been 15 to 30 minutes you have not thrown and you get five pitches back on that mound. You're going to throw five fastballs. When your arm's already loose when you get on the mound, now you can throw your two, your four, your change up. If you're older, your curveball back to your four. Now you're ready to throw any pitch. So that the arm health is, is the main thing, really, is how this was invented. It was invented to protect the kids' arms. Great call right there, Earl, for sure. You're, he's 100% honest with it and 100% true with it. So, And that's why, as I got you to use it more with our players, even stuff like that, uh, it was – it was a no-brainer. I just said it, it. It is your personal throwing buddy. It goes anywhere and everywhere with you. There's no longer an excuse not to coach. I couldn't throw. No, no. You don't let this ball go. You keep repeating it and come back. All right. But the res the idea of the rope tethers is a little bit of resistance. About two ounces, two and a half ounces per tether to build up a little bit of strength, a little bit of resistance. That's why it's important to follow the information guidelines so you don't overload your arm or whatever. As long as you follow them, you're going to be doing it properly. Okay, so it's all built in and the whole package is there. And like, like Earl touched on, it's not just for pitchers. This is for every player. You can adapt. We've had teams working with Earl on that where he's had middle infielders working. He's had the outfielders working. And, and everybody had a rope trainer in their hand and they came off that field and they were just, they were laughing because these were high school kids, but they were laughing because they were like, I can't believe that product put me through the workout that it did. <laughs> And I'm just amazed. And, and so there's such value in this. This is a no brainer. And that's, again, at the end of the day, that's why John Smoltz comes on and says it's a product that should be used, must be used from the pros all the way to the amateurs. And yeah, you know, here's a guy that's not going to, he's not going to just throw compliments around. Oh, no, and that, it's funny bringing him up because, you know, you know, texting with him or, or with Chris, it's like every time he sees it, he likes it more. He's like, I can't believe that, you know, he didn't invent it, you know, and, um, and like you said, the position players being at late point again with perfect pitch and our perf perfect game, yeah. um, the position players would use it to even innings, two, four, six, eight innings. And the center fielders are knowing their times to second base or their arm speed were staying the same as they were in the first inning as they were in the later innings because they stayed loose with the whole game. The catcher's time from the first to the seventh inning was going down hundreds of a second and not like a second because of the, the what the, the four lobs back to the pitcher and the one gun to second base is supposed to keep him warmed up for seven innings, two and a half hour game. It's not going to happen. Those late innings, those balls start sailing over third base when people are stealing third. It happens from the younger kids all the way up to the pros. The pros sailed over third base, too, in those later innings. So, yeah, every single position player should use it. Um, pitchers uh, should have it at their houses and be using it. And like you said, and this is your quote from three from 2017, it's your yep. own throwing buddy. I yep. love that. You don't need somebody 
to warm up and throw it. And I use that all the time. And I give you credit for it because that's a cool yeah. phrase. Well, I truly believe in it, Earl. And uh, you know what? I can't thank you enough for coming on and sharing your team. Um, as we go through these videos and the knowledge and the understanding of, of why this rope trainer from Perfect Pitch and Throw, Earl and his team, is such a vital component to your overall player development on the throwing side. And let's be honest, you got to throw, you have to hit, and you have to catch and run. It, it pretty simple Same. game. We try to complicate the crap out of it, and, and that's where we get into problems. This simplifies it. It's easy. And it's bang on. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, Earl, again, thank you for coming on. Appreciate yeah, one thing, Kurt. Absolutely. Can I add one thing? Yes, you sure. You guys are going to get, you're going to get Preston Peavy. You know, I used to talk about what I saw it do. But he has the biometric studies of it. That we, we you know, it, it wasn't free. And, you know, we put a lot of money back into this company to prove what I had seen personally. You know, so to have him and then Mike Daughtry, who's one of the lead scouts for the Washington Nationals, you know, world champions two years ago. This guy's been around a long time. He knows baseball. He saw it the very first show we were at and flipped out. And that's when we only had the, the two seam grip. He was running back to the war room and back and forth. He goes, I hated that towel drill ever since it was back in the 60s and 70s. He goes and he was on board. So. You guys that are out there, you have a chance to listen to these guys, Chris Verna, Preston Peavy, Mike Daughtry. You're going to get a different perspective from each and every one of them about the rope trainer. And, you know, I heard the word gimmick, you know, gimmicks are things that don't work. When things work, six and a half years later, I have not heard one bad thing about this product. Not one bad thing. Not one person came and said, this hurt my kid's arm or it did, 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 did. Not one thing. And I was looking for that because you need that to make it perfect. But I never got that. I just, we just kept building it until it didn't break. And we knew the resistance and Chris loved it. And coming from Chris, you know, I, whatever he says is gold to me. So <laughs> that's right. You are true. You, you are right. Cause you can either get the uh, rope trainer right through Earl and, and Todd at uh, perfect pitch and throw. Uh, you can type in the rope and it'll still come up or you can get it right through us at dirtbagbaseballnation.com. Uh, we just want to get it to you. We want, we want you to have easy access. So go to either of those platforms. At the end of the day, you're still going to get it because we want it in your hands. And what Earl said, I always love it too. When I get the feedback from our uh, purchasers and they're just like, I I had no idea. I, I, I had no idea something like this would correct the arm path, put my son in a better position and alleviate elbow pain that he's had in the past, shoulder pain that he's had in the past. Those stories, I'm so glad you brought it up, Earl, because really yeah. that's what this is all about at the end of the day. Yeah. It's educating yes. and empowering you all. As you know, that's why we do these video series, not just to throw them out there. It's about really educating and empowering you on the product. In this case, the rope trainer. Please. It's the old Earl and I and the rest of the team can, can take you to the water trough, as they say, but we can't make you drink the water. This time, trust us, you want to be drinking the water. You want to be it's drinking guaranteed. the water. And, and if you don't love Earl and I, that's okay. But John Smoltz isn't going to be a Hall of Famer without that knowledge. He isn't going to be the broadcaster at the MLB level that he is and, and promote and, and advertise a product just for the sake of doing it. So if you don't believe us and at least believe him, and once you get in your hand, then you'll believe us. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that. So been awesome having you on, buddy. I love it all the time. I wish I was down south with you right now, just hanging. But uh, hey, we're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep getting dirty like we always do. Get dirty. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and on that note, like I said, go to www.dirtbagbaseballnation.com or www.theropetrainer.com. It's all right there. It's as easy as could be. You can get the single, you can get the dual, you can get the triple threat. If you're a coach out there watching or listening, you can go ahead and get um, for the younger kids, you can get a bundle package that has five, um, sorry, six, one is for free. When you do it that way, you can either get it in the single tether or you can get it in the uh, triple threat bullpen package. So and I think, I think, yep. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Kurt. I think maybe we'll put a little discount on there for people who watch this podcast and then see all the podcasts that come up. I'll get with Todd and there'll be a little code 
and we'll have one for you for for dirt dirt bag baseball also well that's great, great. Listen and get it through this podcast and there you go man that's the type of guy you're dealing with and and you're you're not dealing with a company that you don't know the faces there's the face there's the face right there the uh inventor creator one of them uh, of the two and uh, so hey on that note, Dirtbags, uh, be right back here next week. We're going to have Chris Berna on, like we said, talking about how the muscles get activated, a few uh, training protocols with it and stuff like that. We're looking forward to it. I uh, can't, can't wait. So, hey, until then, get up, get after it, and get dirty. Get dirty. <laughs>